Hello everybody, and welcome back. Before we start today, I want to apologize. Some of you were having some audio issues with a low humming noise. Uh, sometimes on different types of equipment like TVs or something else you were watching it with. And uh, I couldn't find the reason for that other than I did end up getting some kind of an update uh, that day. So that might have been it, but I, I just don't know. So please let me know if it is still persisting. Um, I, I really don't know what else to do other than replace my microphone perhaps. So that would probably be next. So uh, let me know. Now today we went into this uh, this cave area back here last episode. See we came out of there. So we're going to come this way and try and make our way over to where uh, Bruin is. We may have to fight some things along the way. Let's see if we can't move a little quicker. It's not that far. It's a matter of how to get to it. Should be up this way, which I don't know. Perhaps down here? There we go. <laughs> I was just on the wrong side. And this is where we left him last time. Hello, Broin. How are you feeling today? Well, hello again, Bellany. My messenger returned from Busengar with news that you were in the depths trying to end the corruption that was found in that passage. I see that you were successful. Yes, uh, I believe so. At least for now. Broen seems about to say something else, but decides against it. After an uncomfortable pause, he begins again. And this time, the words come in a torrent. Well, I cannot understand why we waste so much effort on such insignificant tasks while my cousin Bori languishes in the dungeons of Mazog. Why still do my father's dwarves mine while Bori is being held? He may not still live, but if he does, just as I endured in the watery den of the Watcher, could it not be that every hour we waste brings him closer to death at the hands of the orcs? And still, no one does anything. Rowan takes a long breath, making an effort to calm himself. My father has asked me to search for records of my nodes in Kazadum, but I cannot bring myself to do such useless work. If you will do it in my place, I can continue trying to think of some way to help Bori. Uh, look for these records in any of the old archives in the Great Delve in uh, the Chambers of Wisdom, Knowledge, or Deep Thought, or in Kadab Zahar. Oh, well... 
Dang it. <laughs> She's saying this to herself, not to Bruin. <laughs> I was hoping to be done with this place. Well, he has tasked us with something that's very important, and I know that he has a little bit of a, a, a sensitive uh, mind at the moment, so I don't want to upset him further. So what we will do is we will see where we need to go for this. So let's move this map thingy. There. All right, so we need to go to the crossroads. We have been in these places before, I believe. And I thought we did a quest sort of like this before. It's when we were looking for that axe, I believe. Chamber of Knowledge. Am I going to the Chamber of Knowledge? Yes, get off. I believe we need to go back to the Chamber of Knowledge. Go directly to the rock basan. Okay. Now we just gotta get back to Bruin. Well, Bruin, I found some records. Yes, yes, the mining record's fine. Wait, what is this? Oh. Bruin takes the mining records from you with a sigh, but as he reads, his eyes widen and his face brightens. Do you, do you understand what you found? <laughs> These are not simple mining records at all. These pages may hold the key to rescuing my cousin, Bori. Listen to this. Melkoff Stonecarver commissioned for detail work on rear wall of Rush Durnil during night time for the completion of Zerthurk. Special instructions withheld by Order of Durin. The word Rush Durnil drew my attention. For that is the name of the throne of Durin, the very throne that Mazog has claimed for himself. To then see the name Zerthurk, or Secret Road, could it be that this dwarf, this Melkoff stone carver, was tasked with creating a secret passage? 
If this passage was completed, it might be used to gain access to Mazog. It might be used to rescue my cousin Bori. Oh, you might be reading too much into this, sir. You must search the workshop for plans. I... I will stay behind. There is too much to do. Well, I didn't really expect anything else. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mazog has entrenched himself in the great fortress of Zabagathol, surrounding himself with orc warriors. But if a secret escape passage was constructed in the rear wall of Rush Dunil, we might be able to sneak in. His workshop was recently uncovered, but no dwarves were left to guard it, so who could have suspected how important it might become? Take the western exit from Peaceful Path, and once you come out into the mountainside, turn west and climb the short slope to the cave mouth. Enter the passage and search for word of the secret way. Let's go find this lost workshop. So we're supposed to go west. Did not know there was an exit out this way. I don't think I've ever used it. This does look familiar. Okay, so what we want to do is, is go west and, and climb a short slope. Uh-oh. Okay. There. Is that it? I think so. They are guarding it. So they must know what's going on in there. The workshop of Melkoth Stonecarver may hold the key to freeing the dwarf Bori from the clutches of Marzog. There is a rumor of a secret escape passage from the throne room of Durin, and knowledge of it may be found among Melkoth's possessions. All right, there is a dwarf here. Hello. You have anything interesting to say? This tunnel was excavated not long after the Iron Garrison came to Casa Doom. We found the workshop of an ancient sculptor at the end of it. The door was blocked such that we could not open it from the outside. This tunnel's the only entrance until we get that cleared. Goblins have crept back in while our guard was relaxed and now the tunnel's full of them. You want to be careful. I see. So, there are lots of goblins here. Aye, and orcs too. They seem to be searching for treasure of some kind, as they kind of often do, but they'll find little of interest. Whatever treasures the sculptor Melkoff stone carver kept in his workshop have long since been taken. Well, I don't fear goblins. Have you heard about Zer Thurko? What was that? A secret road? No, cannot say it's familiar to me. If you're looking for some record of it among Melkoff Stonecarver's notes, I got some bad news for you. The orcs and goblins have scattered many of the pages they've found in his workshop throughout this tunnel. Whether by design or happenstance, I do not know. If you are to search all of the pages for mention of Zerthurk, you'll need to keep your eyes open. Okay, I will find them all. Okay, there is something sparkling over here. It's 
So that's kind of what we're looking for. Looks like we missed an orc up top. I don't know if there's going to be a page there. Let's make sure. Yep, there is a page down there. Useful. All right. Let's continue forward. I don't know if goblins can even read. So let's go back. Is there another one here? to look for any other little side areas that I might have skipped. I was trying to be hasty. That might have been a mistake. where I just came from, isn't it?
Ja. Here we go. There, I found it. The word Zerthuk catches my eye. So now we gotta go back and talk to Broin. I found what you seek. You've done it, my friend. You've done it. This is clearly Zabagatol, which means these hallways here connect to Rush Durnil. And Broen laughs with delight. See? See this tunnel here? I would wager all the treasures of Kasadum that this passage appears on no maps save this one. Now, where can we gain access to this passage? Hmm, if we follow it this way, we... Rowan's smile becomes a mask of confusion. Unless I read this wrongly, Bellany, it seems that Zerthu connects to Bazungar. Can this really be? You must walk the secret road. I wish I could come with you, but uh, I cannot. Well, okay. So we now need to return to Buzangar, located southwest of here, in the southeastern corner of Thrakbazan, and speak with Ovar Bellhammer. He will accompany me along uh, Zerthurk, if it exists, though he should be your only companion in the interest of secrecy. <laughs> Let's leave here. There he is. Back in here again. <laughs> oh joy. Although, on the good side, it's kind of mapped out. Hello, Ovar again. You say there is a secret way behind the walls of Sabagathal? I don't know, Bellany. It seems unlikely. With an eyebrow raised, Ovar listens to your explanation of Broen's idea that it might be possible to rescue Bori. Well, this is all well and good, but why isn't Broen coming with you? If you ask me, he's still not over his experience. Seems to me that Lord Broger has been trying to give us some trivial tasks to coax him from his brooding, but it has yet to work. Broen will not be himself until he's able to conquer whatever fear clutches him. Well, no matter. You descend once again into the depths of Buzangar. Uh, you can find the entrance to the Zerthurk. You gotta go down where uh, Grolon the Kerog was. I'll join you on the other side. All right, so we gotta find that entrance. Oh gosh, I gotta remember how to get down there. Um, well, let's see. <coughs>
that stinking mushroom on me. don't rightly recall where we fought that big guy at. We fought this guy here. Ah. Here we go. No. But we don't have to fight him. It says where we did fight him. Let's go this way. Here we go. The secret way out of the throne room of Durin was known to a few only, all of whom perished during the fall of the great dwarf kingdom. But the errant mark of a forgotten scribe preserved a record of its existence, and now it may be used to rescue the dwarf Bori from the clutches of the orcs. Well, let's talk to Orvar. This is incredible, Bellany. Can we really use this passage to get behind the walls of Zabagatol? How long has this tunnel remained undiscovered? Let's find out. Alright, we need to protect him. Alright, let's do this. You really should let me go first, sir. I can hear some creatures. Yep. this. How about that? By the beard of Durin. Look at this place. Yes, this is quite something. There's quite a beast down there. You see it? Oh, give me a moment. I'll rejoin you further ahead. <laughs> yeah, you see it. <laughs> All right, sir. Clear the way. Wish I could get that guy first. Yeah. Now this one. It's okay to join me if you'd like, Orvar. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, boy.
All right, I guess he's going to just pop up ahead here. Yep. <laughs> All righty, let's continue. I believe now my friend must be just ahead. Okay. Let's hope that he's okay. Uh-oh. The throne of Durin. You're right. This was once Rush Durinal. The great throne room of Durin. The orcs have surely given it a crude new name, but it will always be Rush Durinal to the dwarves. Fight on into the orc encampment. Search for Bori. I'll watch the rear to ensure that no creatures from Zerk surprise us. Well, okay. You sure you're going to be all right? Oh. <laughs> all righty. So now I got to look for Bori. Mazak want with him? Turn him into a pet? I suppose so. Farce here too. Good work. Seems they're not keeping Bori here. Yeah, I see no sign. Well, we gotta confront Mazog. Force him to tell us where Bori is. Oh, do you think that's wise, sir? <laughs> just us, just you and me, huh? Okay. He's definitely determined. Pretty sure Mazok knows we're here.
to the side too, sir. They could be hiding. Alright, let's see. What are There's Mazog. I don't see Bori, though. How came these maggots before me? Were not the front gates barred? They were! They were! Huh. Oops. <laughs> yeah, he's not happy. What's your excuse, worm? How'd these fools enter my fortress? Uh, I don't know. It's not possible. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be happy with that answer. I'll kill them for you, though. Yeah, you think you can. Enough of this. Mazog, tell us where you've imprisoned the dwarves you captured. I do not imprison dwarves. I slay them. I'm the cleaver of dwarf skulls and the master of orcs. Mazog! This is the end of your days! Oh! <gasps> Broin! Oh. My God. Dwarf slaves no use to me. They're far too weak. One of the dwarfs I slew, the rest I gave to Gorthul. He'll be halfway to Dolgadur by now. Oh. That's not good. I should kill you for all the hurts you've caused, Mazog. But I will not. You'll remain my prisoner till the dwarves have been returned. Only then will you die by my axe. I swear this oath. Oh, okay, let's see. Let's talk to Carunthio first. The dwarf, Rowan, came to Boonsangar not long after you left and gave such a rousing speech that we could do nothing but follow him here. Who knew dwarves could speak with such a vigor? Now he has a prisoner and has spoken an oath besides. I hope it will not end poorly for Broan or his friends, for there's a curious power to vows taken lightly. Well, I think he knows very well what he has done. Well, I got to thinking, Belle after you left, about all the things that you and others have been through, and I realized something. I can no longer stand by while others fight my fight. Once I resolved to leave my self-pity behind, I hurried to Boozengar and convinced the elves there to come with me. Our fortunes held, and we arrived just when most needed. I must hope that Bori's still alive, and that he is one of the two dwarves sent to Dolgodur. It's only this hope that can keep me fighting. Let us leave this place. I agree. So now we have Mazog as a captive. Which is good. You see the good that can be done when elves and dwarves work together. The dwarf Broin came to Lost Rod, winded from a long run, and asked that, that we accompany him in this pursuit of you. He claimed to have made an error by leaving you to attempt the rescue of this kinsman, and his regret of that decision spurred him onward. You're fortunate that he regained his courage when he did. You and Orvar both. Yes, we were very lucky. Haldir can arrange an audience for you with Lord Celeborn. He wishes to speak with you about what happened. Return to Talon Haldir and speak with Haldir about arranging an audience with the Lord of Lorien. You will find him in his great tree. Awesome. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so we are not staying here. That's fantastic. <laughs>
Well, everybody, thank you for joining me today. Please give a like and subscribe. Hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye now.